Why here, Justin? Um, the coaching staff was pretty stable, so I felt comfortable with, you know, getting back in the swing of things. Uh, coming down to high school, I came into Coach Miles and Coach Cam. And uh, that staff itself is a family. I feel like this is a family vibe here. And I feel really comfortable here so far. You know, the guys are taking me in. Uh, JB's helped me out a lot in the quarterback room. And it feels smooth. You know, I'm, I'm getting everything I hang up. You know, I'm getting to hang up everything. And I feel good so far. You've played for a lot of offensive coordinators, haven't you? <laughs> for the lesser words, yeah. I have. And, you know, how difficult is that for a quarterback to, to be in that constant change? Uh, I feel like God put me in this position as, as a challenge, you know, and so me having, you know, I've had four OCs since I've been in college, and it, it feels good to know that uh, this won't cripple me, you know, coming to a new offense won't cripple me. I've been through it before. I've been through the process of learning the offense quickly, having to get an understanding for things quickly, um, having to be able to get to an opportunity where I have to compete quickly and, you know, perform to my best ability. So learning the offense has honestly been nothing but, a, you know, I feel like a gift in, in a word, in a way. So I look at it as, as a positive way, you know, being in multiple offenses to help me to be in the situation I'm in now. You know, I'm picking this offense up pretty quickly. And uh, like I said, it feels good being here. How long does it take for you to learn an offense to the point where you can be comfortable enough to make it go on the game? It really depends. Like, you know, reps, um, endless and countless hours of, you know, just studying and, and uh, just getting to understand what your OC. Uh, like I said, for the most part, you have to get reps. You, know, you have to feel comfortable. You have to make mistakes. That's part of the game. You have to make mistakes as a quarterback. You have to learn from those mistakes. You know, it's, it's, it's easy to sit back and, and see it, but you know, it's, it's a completely different story when you're in. It's easy to be in the room and writing it down, but you know, when you make mistakes, I feel like you when you overcome mistakes, that's when you start to become comfortable. And you know, five mistakes turn to two, and two turn to zero, and that's when you you get to a point where you're comfortable with that offense. Will they ask you to be more of a runner here? And you aren't known as a runner in your previous uh, destination. Will you be more of a runner here, or how do you think that will all work out? Um, I really, I'm, I'm really unsure, honestly. Um, you know, I've, I've talked to Coach, and uh, the offense is, is basically, you know, it suits the quarterback, but whatever that opponent is that week, that's what the offense will suit. So, you know, right now we're, we're working with the option. That's what our offense is right now. That's what we're going for. We're going for Wake Forest. So uh, as far as my talent and what I do, it's whatever the offense needs. I I'm, I'm feel like I'm very versatile. I can go here or there and do whatever the offense needs for us to do to win. How do you want to be identified as a quarterback? Smart. <laughs> I don't want to be anything other than smart. It's easy to say you have the ability. There's always those guys that have the ability but never panned out. But you know, you, you can't take a brain from people. You know, uh, having knowledge of the game really, really changed things. I look at the best quarterbacks in the league of Peyton Manning's and Tom Brady's and Drew Brees's. And, you know, talking to people that have been around him, all of them are smart. You know, I, I didn't hear about the arm or the, the talent or leadership. You hear smart. You know, they know what they're going with the ball. They know how to control the defense. They know how to make the offense move. They know what's best for the offense. So I feel like uh, the brain itself is the, is, the, is the strongest part of being a quarterback. What was it that sparked your decision to leave LSU? Um, honestly, just, you know, just a, a better situation. Uh, I, I had a great time at LSU, you know. Had I stayed, I would have been fine there too. But like I said, right now, I feel like this team is, is better for me and my situation and my family. And I actually like it. You know, it, it feels good. I'm in a big city. You know, the guy's taking me in pretty quickly. Uh, like I said, JB's helped me out a lot with the offense. You know, he's a great guy as well. And I'm, I just I just feel like I'm at home again, you know. You've been a long time to play. You know, JB's pretty established here. What, do you, what, what role do you see yourself having this year? And I know you still have two years left. Like I said, my role is whatever the team needs me. Right now, I'm, 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 I'm buying in, I'm giving in to whatever the coaches need for me. Uh, right now, you know, I, I haven't even gotten to think about my role on the team. Now I'm just thinking, okay, how do I get the offense down? Okay, the quicker I get the offense down, the more comfortable I feel. You know, the more reps I get, stuff like that. Just start to evolve into actually being on a two-man football team. You know, I'm still the LSU guy coming in. You know, I'm trying to get to a point now where. I'm just another guy on the team. You know, right now I'm, 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 I'm seeing at the transfer a couple people here and there. You know, a couple guys mess with me, call me LSU, but you know, it's all uh, it's all fun. You know, I, I I love it here so far. It's it's been great. A couple he, more guys. Lowell said he left after coaches talked to him about just practicing run plays, certain specific plays, having fewer reps in practice. Is that a case at all with you? Same kind of thing? Or? Uh, no, that wasn't the case for me at all. No. 
when degree was big to you too, right? In the, like yeah, the I mean, yeah, yeah, master's degree, yeah, master's degree is great. Like, I mean, in, in my mind, you, you think, you know, it's a possibility you can get a master's. Uh, then when, when you talk on the phone to a couple people and say, well, it's a possibility you can get two. And now it's like, okay, you go from getting one degree to three degrees. And honestly, you know, coming out of high school, I never, I, I just never thought about graduating college. I, but, you know, I'm at a point now where it's like, I can, I can put myself in a position to suit my life. Um, where most people can't get to, so that's 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 a that's a big plus in my mind. Uh, having the ability to get two degrees at Tulane, uh, I feel magnificent.